might have heard these salutes to soldiers all across wave country. Some of those came from New Albany. Specifically, a service for the veterans of foreign wars at Hobart Beach Post 1693. Wave News reporter Kennedy Hayes is live for us this evening in New Alb Albany with the sights, the sounds, and the sentiment we saw today. Absolutely, Kathleen. Some families I spoke with out here earlier say coming to this service is a tradition for them and honoring those brave enough to fight for freedom is something that they don't just do once a year, but every single day. A salute for the bravery of the men and women who fought for freedom. Flags, speakers, and soldiers gathered in New Albany's Veterans of Foreign Wars Plaza for the annual Memorial Day service. Gold Star families, those with a loved one killed in action, participated in a moment of silence. I have been here every year for practically the last 30 years I don't know, I'm still since uh, my son passed away. Earl Hilgert says his son, Christopher Keith Hilgert, went to New Albany High School before he joined the Armored Tank Division at Fort Knox, a decision that took him to Berlin, Germany, Kansas, then Somalia in 1993. Uh, he had two guys that he worked with, and uh, there was another guy driving around Mogadishu, the main road they all drive on, and he was there less than 48 hours, and he was gone. The only blessing I have, he had no pain. During the service, several organizations were called out to participate in the presentation of wreaths. Hilgert showed me where his son, Christopher's name, was engraved. Next to the wreath they brought this year. This is not enough. I mean, I feel like there should be more, but I don't know where that would go. But uh, everybody that lost somebody, I mean, it, uh, that never goes away. Hilger tells me his son died at age 27 and is still a kid in his eyes. Reporting live, Kennedy Hayes, Wave News.